I'm advocating for, for the treatment of HC to be more available and to be seen as a, um, not just, um, to be seen as a more impo important um, aspect in, in society. People, they don't see it as a primary healthcare um, need. So uh, it's not being considered, people who inject drugs aren't being considered for the treatment as they should be. If you are injecting heroin, you are using syringes and because of no harm reduction, but the harm reduction services are available now, but in the past there wasn't any um, thing like needle syringe programs. So whenever you need a um, hit, or you're withdrawing and you can't find a clean syringe you will use borrow someone else's syringe who's been infected with either HIV or hepatitis C and that's that's the closest correlation the funding is a problem in 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 our country for hepatitis C it's not seen as a primary care um, uh, objective. So we're, I'm advocating for for hepatitis C treatments to become available as ARVs. It's because um, not all public health. It's not available in the public health system. Um, you can um, individually ask for it, but I'm not sure if any clinic and hospital will do it. But through course of because we're substance related, we can do it there. And then um, if you request, well, I think for a C4, they will do the initial screening, which is a blood, uh, 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 a swab you do, but for the blood tests, you'll we'll probably have to pay for the blood tests. We are, we are, trying to get the message of hepatitis C out to the world for funding to be available for these treatments. Because the, the funding for the treatment, it's very expensive and um, it's not as openly available in public health sectors.